Hello, hello, everybody. It's your Prof. Chof, and we're back again on a new video. This is Blizzard is worse than you thought by Big Boss. Let's go, y'all. The year is 2023, and a once beloved game developer's reputation. Something? I is remember that. Absolute it's the last thing I remember. What was at one point probably the highest drama. rated developer in the industry. A studio that pumped out classic art. Yeah, bro, they had a good run. Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2, World of Warcraft, Frozen Throne. A uh, burning crusade, Diablo 2. Oh my god, absolutely! That's my childhood, brother. Incomprehensible. Let's go to section. Oh, shit. corporate Brat boy culture, broken promises, damn, botched releases. Hey, Y'all remember story mode? <laughs> yeah, that's god. What the hell, damn, 0.5. User score. I still haven't played before. So I was so Bristol. sad about that whole situation. This is the story of Blizzard Entertainment. And I think they're doing okay now, still. They still got WoW. World of Warcraft, so. The year is 1991, and three guys have just graduated from the University of California. Damn. Alan Adham, Michael Morhaime, and Frank Pierce. They get together to create a game development studio in Irvine called Silicon and Synapse. That sounds the like a breast enhancement philosophical and well studio. thought out. With Silicon representing the building block of a computer and Synapse the building block of a What is the theories are always on your mind? Of a brain. Think about However, it. However, people keep mistaking the Silicon part for the material in breast implants. I mean, anyway, they spend the first few no. years porting games to different systems, but soon begin producing their own original games. Okay. With the Lost Vikings in the 1992, last, I've heard about and Rock this. and Roll Racing in 1993. I haven't heard about that. Eventually, they get sick of constantly being mixed up with women's breasts, so they decide to switch things up, <laughs> changing their name to Chaos Studios. Chaos. However, a company. Chaos Studio. A company based in Florida already has the trademark. Oh shit! And they're now asking for a hundred thousand dollars. Damn. Mm. They then decide to change the studio's name. Ogre, to Ogre Studios. Studios. But in 19. Bro, they've had. Come on. 1994. That sounds awful. By a holding company for a few million dollars, and turns out their new owners aren't a fan of the new name. I okay. understand. Understandable. So they flip through a dictionary, and oh my god, there <laughs> it is. Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard's a nice name. Blizzard releases their first self-published title. So a Warcraft real time strategy game yeah. called Warcraft. Or Bro, I have never seen Warcraft 1 actually. This is my first time seeing it. And it's an instant. Those success. are the footmen? It's one grunts? of the earliest real time strategy games to hit shelves. Really? It's a blast. It also has a modem and LAN multiplayer. <laughs> meaning people can get together and go ham. And the game does well. Nice. Selling 100,000 copies in the first year. Sounds like a lot. For the first Back time, in the day. Blizzard Entertainment is profitable. I gotta remember, games were not popping that much back then. They follow as they are now. Warcraft 2 in 1995. Hey, look at the peons, brother. Damn, they look jacked. It's another home run. Critically acclaimed. Never seen that as well. Never played Warcraft 2. Only three. Year. Nice. It's now 1996. And a company called Condor Games is looking for a publisher for their born. nearly complete game, Diablo. Blizzard has a little look. First one. And they like. They so like. They buy them and rename them Blizzard North. It's also at this point that Blizzard notices something. Warcraft 2 had picked up a lasting online player base. Mostly from third party networks that connected players over Duke this magic new thing called the internet. So they decide to make their own, Battle.net. Its original functionality is very simple. With the ability for players to chat to each other and search for a match. But on December God. 31st... I still remember playing Dota 1 on Battle.net. Oh, 1996. God. It launches alongside Diablo. And people log on and play. Diablo is a massive hit. Damn. Also selling over a million... Everything they do is a massive year. hit, huh? In 1998, Eesh. Blizzard launches StarCraft. An RTS massive hit. set in space. It sells bigly. And quickly this is the first game I bought cheat code for IRL. I got scammed. I paid like 50 cent back in the day for cheat codes to StarCraft. Grows a massive esports scene. <laughs> Diablo StarCraft 2 launches one, in 2000. Two. Another smash hit. I was it kid. reaches almost kid. 3 million sales by okay, the end of the This is the first, one of the first games I played. It was absolutely amazing. I grinded the hell out of my druid and necromancer. Yeah. A golden builds. Come on, werewolf. I was a furry back in, in the day. God damn it. Warcraft is back. And now it has an extra. 
God damn, the story on these games is... Oh, Arthas, brother. You did nothing wrong. Well, a, little, a couple of things, but it's fine. Warcraft 3 sells 1 million units in just one month. Damn. Immediately becoming the new fastest selling PC Reign of game. Chaos. And then it also releases Warcraft the campaign 3 2. editor, which spawns a series of popular mods like Defense of the Ancients. And Dota. After its expansion in 2003. Tower defenses as well. There was other ones, but I don't remember. There was a vampire versus villagers or some shit. Oh god, that was so it's fun. It's all hands on deck for Blizzard's next project. The year is 2004. Is that Blizzard World of Warcraft? ready to release its biggest game yet. They'd seen how big MMOs like EverQuest were getting oh, and thought they'd try their hand. And the after World of Warcraft. million dollars and five years of work, it's finally near. Five years race. of work, damn. And in November 2004, That's crazy. World of Warcraft launches. Okay, I never actually played World of Warcraft. The first one I played was the second one, which is a uh, rain. No, no, Burning Crusade. Yeah, Burning and Crusade. It takes Not the rain world yeah, that was Warcraft three. Smashing even Blizzard's forecasts. There are so many players trying to log on <laughs> in the first week that their servers have a complete meltdown. I still the remember that garden gate. Get past the queue waiting for Q. Into a game. Well, now you're greeted with a ton of latency issues Oof. and a probable disconnection. Damn. Meaning you're now back on that queue screen. <laughs> After the initial server problems are ironed out and Damn. people can actually play, <laughs> the game sucks people in on mass. Oh shit. Fans are very enthusiastic. It Jenkins. moves up awards left, right, and center, and sells a ton of copies, reaching almost 6 million sales by the end of its first year. Damn. World of Warcraft isn't like your average game, though. Instead of simply yeah. buying subscriptions, did they have the subscriptions? Now we're about to find out. Copy. Players have to pay a $15 monthly Bro, subscription. It's such a piece of shit move to have to buy the game and buy a subscription. That is so annoying, and they still do it, I think. Need to play 6 million times 15 every month. And Blizzard isn't doing too badly. <laughs> not, not at all. The game, and its ads go on to feature a ton of celebrities. I'm Chuck Norris, and I approve this game. And Do others you? like Vin Diesel, William Shatner, Henry Cavill. Okay, I've never actually seen these ads. Mila Kunis and Dave Chappelle announce their addictions in various interviews. World of Warcraft is everywhere. World of Warcraft would also result in the launch of BlizzCon in 2005, BlizzCon. a massive annual convention that would feature big musical acts and announcements for Blizzard's future games. Yeah, Fans could also huh? ask the devs questions and were sometimes even featured. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> Blizzard is among the all-time greats of gaming. Damn. Every game. A I look at that list and say it's all-time great nowadays, bro. Ugh, that's an ugly ass list. Smash hit. They could do no wrong. But they did. They did a lot of rock. <laughs> but first, flying a plane is easy. Just get in, flip a few switches, and you're off. At time? Oh, it's War Thunder. Okay. I play War Thunder. The year it's is free, now 2006. Check it out. World of Warcraft has yes. almost 10 million active subscribers God and is bringing damn. in a ton of money. So I naturally. Did... What is it like? 10 bucks a month? 15 bucks a month? It's turned Jeez, a few that's heads. a lot of money. One of those heads, Bobby Kotick, CEO of Activision. Oh. Now in 2006, Activision had made good tracks in just about every genre of games, except one. I've not seen all the, one any of these games. Moving. What the hell? The MMO. With Warcraft MMO. currently bringing in over a billion dollars a year in subscriptions alone, he's interested. Now at this point, Blizzard has changed hands numerous times and is now owned by a company called Vivendi. Vivendi? So approaches Vivendi with a proposition. Vivendi receives money. Activision receives Blizzard. <laughs> However, Vivendi says no. Ooh. Instead, I mean, Vivendi... Bro, they're making crazy money. Why would they sell it? He offers to merge their gaming subdivision with Activision, with Vivendi owning a majority share in the resulting company. Uh, and after damn. a brief hesitation from Kotick, to 2008, the deal closes. Oh shit. Activision Blizzard like opens its doors for him. with Kotick as CEO. And Activision and Blizzard, now it's two subsidiaries. Blizzard would supposedly retain most of its autonomy and keep their CEO, Kerry Gunn, co founder Michael Can Moore. Baby. You know. It's now 2010, yeah. and Blizzard has gone from just under 500 and employees one. before the launch of World of Warcraft to now over 4,600, the majority of whom are preparing for the launch of StarCraft 2. It's a lot of gamers smell. In July, 
and the third major Warcraft expansion, Cataclysm, in December. Wait, the third major? Not... It's... I guess... Wrath of the Lich King and then Cataclysm? I've never played Cataclysm, that's pretty much... Uh, Wrath of the Lich King is pretty much where my World of Warcraft journey stopped. Warcraft and that's good. Been hitting peak I think that's good. Players, and was now at 12 million monthly God subscribers. Damn. Starcraft 2's sales projections are also sizable. <laughs> But Blizzard currently has a problem. Their forums. They're oh. a little bit toxic. Blizzard has a big team Never been of moderators. On there. But according to them, this still wasn't enough. So behind the scenes, they get brainstorming. And someone has a brilliant idea. How about we just force everyone that posts on our forums to use their real first Ooh. and last name? Oh, shit. Genius. That's not genius in July at all. 2010, Real ID is unveiled. Real ID. And people absolutely hate it. Yeah, I mean, so in first off, most of these motherfuckers would not be talking shit, but there is a couple of degenerates that would not care at all. In an attempt to sell the idea to players, Blizzard's community manager posts his full name on the forum. See, guys? It's fine. But almost instantly, Dox? people descend on the forum and get to work. Oh, and God. Did they minutes, actually dox the dude? They find and publish his home address, oh, phone my number, God, age, that's... Facebook, family names that is a crime you cannot do that and a list of his favorite music and movies so i want to jump through hey this dude's you know a what? beast though Fair enough. it's a dope and ass after anime just a few days what of you being mean? announced real id is scrapped entirely then that poor guy got By sacrificed the warcraft 3 mod defense of the ancients had gained yeah buddy dota and had even spawned a whole new genre of games mobas for much of that time blizzard had paid little attention to the mod okay or the game I don't actually know what happened here. I know at some point there was some problem, legal things, and then Dota 2 came about, I think, a couple years later. I don't know what actually happened. But the success of the recently launched League of Legends could no longer be ignored. And Blizzard finally steps in, starting work on their take on the genre, titled Blizzard Dota. Around Blizzard the same time, Dota. And I've not heard about that at all. Valve wants to make their own MOBA. They'd hired the head dev of the original Dota mod, snapped up the dota trademark Oof. and they're calling their new game dota 2 <laughs> blizzard <laughs> so we have we have dota 1 we have blizzard dota and dota 2 is furious Oof. <laughs> oh that's so in 2012 they file a statement of opposition arguing that the name defense of the ancients was associated exclusively with warcraft due to it being made in their map editor mm, however i guess this argument has issues See, Which is the mod was created in Warcraft 3's map mm -hmm. editor, but that map editor had no specific terms and conditions on ownership of said maps, oh. IP, Ooh. and concepts. They end up settling out of court a few months after, oh. with Valve getting so they the got commercial rights money. to the term Dota, and Dota 2 releases in 2012. It's what happened to Blizzard Dota? And goes on to be an esports giant. Never played Dota 2. The visual just did not click with me. I'm a league dude nowadays. Blizzard Always gets been. non commercial use of the title for its community and renames Blizzard Dota to Heroes of the Storm. Oh, hey! Which releases Wait, I played Heroes of the Storm. This is like the most casual MOBA you can play. If that's what you want, some. It's not a lot of. It's not that toxic. Yeah, it's okay ish. And I think they stop support three though. Years later. Blizzard yeah. would change its licensing agreements for all future games to include their ownership of player created maps Which is in an so attempt stupid. to avoid this ever happening again. It's 2012, and the massively anticipated sequel to Diablo 2 is looking like it's releasing this. Okay, I see how much long we have in the video, and I think I'm very back up backed upon the drama i don't know much of i know about this like i remember this drama after this there was a sexual allegation and that's all i remember what the hell happened here yeah let's see its development had been a bit rocky with its dev team blizzard north being canned in 2005 Oof. along with their version of the game but on the 15th of may 2012 the rebooted diablo 3 launches <laughs> the game is horrendous Oof. for one its launch is horrific the game is online only. Cannot. It turns out yeah, there are such massive a stupid server thing. issues. People are spamming their login details Bam. over and over, only to be kicked out by error 37. Hey, it's DX. What's worse, there's no queue system in that place. That was funny. So you have I like to manually DX back in the day. Every minute. 
this issue takes over a week to fix. Then there's Actium. the auction house. Actually, yeah. Oh yeah, real money. It can money. be bought and sold using your mum's credit card. Activision Blizzard <laughs> gets filthy rich, while the balancing gets obliterated. <laughs> what balancing? Can't ruin the balance if there was no balancing. Also essentially non-existent. However, the game sells almost 4 million copies That's in its lot. first 24 hours. In the and over time... In the first day? Slowly makes a turnaround. God damn. In 2014, the real money auction house is closed, and Blizzard launches Reaper of Souls. An add-on praised almost unanimously. Mm. They're ready to make a second add-on. Never played Dota 3. But management says no. Apparently, executives see the game as a massive failure. <laughs> but it's even made a lot of money. What the hell? The year is now 2015. The past 10 years had seen massive expansions to Warcraft, including yeah. controversial changes a lot to the game and its mechanics. And player numbers reflect that. Now being it has lost 44% in steep decline. Damn. A growing number of players long to go back to the days of Vanilla. Oh, is this classic? Version one of the game back in 2004. One fan even floats the idea to Blizzard Genius themselves work. at BlizzCon 2013. Here's how that goes. Have you ever thought about adding servers for previous expansions as they were then? No. <laughs> okay then. Okay. We'll just be <laughs> on ourselves. And the fan made Nostalrius vanilla server goes online in February 2015. And I think they got sued. <laughs> running version 1.12, a 1. month 1. after 1. the original launch. It's not long before the server gets massively popular, God with almost damn. a million accounts registered. It's also not long before Blizzard catches wind yeah. and brings the hammer down. You making money, boy? You can't be making money without us getting money. Their can't lawyers sent that. them a cease and desist in 2016, and the server is promptly shut down. Realizing they were completely wrong about vanilla Warcraft, Blizzard do a full 180 and announce Warcraft Classic in 2017. Yeah! Stupid sons of bitches. Stupid sons of bitches. Back in 2007, Blizzard started work on a huge oh, MMO back. Project Titan. It was described as a combination of Left 4 Dead, Team Project Fortress, Titan. and The Sims. Hmm. The S but development led The Sims? What? Nowhere. And six years later, the plug is pulled. A massive Damn. failure on Blizzard's part, Damn. and a major internal embarrassment. However, the team behind it would attempt to rework the remains of the story and assets into another project. And in 2016, Overwatch, Overwatch hits shelves. And it's amazing. It's critically acclaimed across the board. I'll be honest, you have to play Overwatch 2 by a stupid for Overwatch 1. Though you can't really play Overwatch 1 anymore. Plus, the, they gave you way more, uh, like, uh, things to open for visual and skins. And massively popular. They don't give you shit Quickly nowadays. becoming one of the most popular okay, esports titles on the market. Did it? That, paired with their genre pioneer. Hey, Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Hearthstone's free dope. Back in 2014, that now has almost 100 million players. Damn. The Blizzard is looking strong. God, However, damn. there are problems brewing. See, Overwatch was the last big game that had in the pipeline for a while. Oof. And they realize they don't have much to show off for BlizzCon 2018. So 2018. Blizzard rushes to find something to show off. Got it. What are we showing? Fast forward to November 2018, and their presentation is ready to go. They sprinkle a few niche announcements here and there, like a remastered Warcraft 3. But they have one big they did my boy so bad. Diablo 4? After six long years, a brand new Diablo. Oh, no, that's more though. Mobile. Bruh. Like, look, Diablo 2, come play the mobile game that has nothing to do... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm amazed, honestly, it's this bad. Hey, that's this is gold. fucking insane. I, I don't even know, like, what to even say about this. Just was wondering, is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? Uh, we don't have any plans... <laughs> I gotta a legend. ...to do a uh, PC. <laughs> oh, guys... Why does he look surprised, though? Why was he surprised? Bro, your whole ass player base is on PC pretty much. Why are you surprised that when you announce one of the most beloved game, well, it's not really a sequel, but it's only on phone. What? Do you not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone. Right? Such the game stupid motherfuckers. Launches, and it's bad. Firstly, it's not even developed by Blizzard, but their Chinese partner NetEase. Ah. It turns out... Hey, well, it's okay, that makes a lot more sense, because... Mobile games are crazy in Asia. The ties to the tits. 
Not it surprised. costs over a half a game. million what? dollars to max out a single character and becomes the worst rated game ever Wait, on Metacritic. Wait, to max out the character into pay? What the hell? Well, not By 2018, for long, right? Before, before it's... Something. Activision Blizzard had been creeping and Blizzard was changing. See, back in 2013, Active Blizzard had bought back the remaining Vivendi shares for about $7 billion. Meaning Damn. they, and by extension, Bobby Kotick, now had oh, complete he owns everything? control of both Activision Sheesh. and Blizzard. Fast forward to 2018, and this creeping had only got worse. Because of the slowdown in game releases, <laughs> Blizzard revenues are taking an absolute nosedive. So Active Blizzard steps in. It pushes the company to cut costs and oh, gets them God. to produce games at a faster pace. With Kotick apparently installing his own executives within Blizzard to ensure that's smart, that right? Apparently, tired of actor Blizzard's meddling, Blizzard co-founder Mike Morhaim steps down as president and CEO and leaves Damn. the company after 27 years of work. He's succeeded by Warcraft's executive producer J. Allen Brack. J. Allen Brack. And by the way, you don't want to that to do that either. You think you do, but you don't. And as soon as this happens. I think that was him talking about uh, World Classic. Yeah, what about that now, brother? We accelerate. Oh, the company immediately prioritizes cutting costs, and the Heroes of the Storm's development team Oof. is outright annihilated. Dead. Its esports league is also scrapped right Damn. before its 2019 season. As a result, entire teams, commentators, and support staff are suddenly left jobless. Damn. And despite 2018 being a record year for Actor Blizzard profits, they lay off 800 employees, almost 10% of the company. They begin rehiring That's not a good the exact sign. same jobs a couple of years later. <sighs> Stupid motherfuckers. So going into 2019, people are not happy. But turns out, over on the other side of the world, and things are happening in Hong Kong, they're not good. Their government has proposed a bill that would give China... Wait, what the hell does Hong Kong have to do with this? China more authority over them. And that's not too popular. Okay. At the same time, Hong Kong native Blitz Chung is participating in Hearthstone's esports league. He wins and uses the post-game oh, interview shit. to show his support for the protests. <laughs> but as soon as he says it, something happens. See, He's Blizzard has a huge player base in China. And to keep that player base available to them, they have to bend over backwards I've seen that video for the Chinese so much government. Nice. So when this happens, hey, they go. Straight. You know what also does this similar thing? The NBA actually, I found that out recently, which is kind of sad. Scorched Earth. They take the live stream Scorched down story. seconds after he says it. Oh, slap him with a year long Damn. ban, and Why even do confiscate that? his prize money. Oh, even the hey. guys casting the you confiscate his prize. That's fucked up. Cream are fired. Why? It's not long before the internet catches wind. That is the dick dude. People are. It's Tyler. So, bro. At one point, even he has Congress a now. members have a go. Crazy shit. After a few days of pressure, J. Allen Brack eventually comes out. He reduces the ban to half a year and grants Blitz Chung his prize money back. Yay. He also says that Blizzard's relationships with China had no influence on their decision. Yeah. Blizzard okay, is starting to buddy. look seriously not cool. <laughs> so they decide to go into BlizzCon 2019 with the big guns, announcing God Diablo damn. 4 and Overwatch. You're crazy guy like that? Also, that Warcraft remaster they'd announced at the infamous 2018 BlizzCon is coming out next year. This'll be good. Bro, I was so hyped for that. I was so hyped for that. Back in 2015, Blizzard had set up a subdivision to remaster old games, the first of which would be Warcraft 3. And in January 2020, the highly anticipated remaster launches. Yeah. And, oh boy. The yeah. game is beyond terrible. Dog shit. Here's why. Before launch, Warcraft 3's advertising touted multiple new features. Over four hours of cinematic new cutscenes, more oh, story, damn. and new voice acting, and a complete campaign overhaul. Homie's got a big ass Changing mouth. the story to be more in line with the current Warcraft lore. Wait, what does that, is long, wait, what does that mean? The story is amazing. What are you changing? On. Turns out, absolutely none of this is in the game. Oh. This is after being advertised on the website for over a year. Liar! There's also what? a ton of features from the original Warcraft. Yeah, game that's just outright missing. This is why I remember people had a lot of problems with. Literally, shit was in the old game, but it was not in the new game. How does that make sense? It's a remaster. How do you make it worse? Here are a few of them. No ranked play. No. No profiles. Uh, no. 
No account stats? Uh, no. No custom campaigns? No. No clans? No. No Man's Sky, by the way. play for custom games? They're still updating um, that yeah. game. And no Crazy. offline play. Wait, no offline play? No. It's possible after a few patches, but it's a little complicated. What the hell? Also, after some digging, people realize the main menu background is actually a Chrome-based web app, and it's taking up more... What? ...more of your CPU power than the actual game. Online matchmaking sucks, it kicks you out all the time. This is without a way to reconnect, by the way. Oh my Graphics god, yeah. a game in 2020 is some shit and you can't reconnect into the game. Imagine Treason. that. Have you lost your mind, Arthas? The new art direction <laughs> is now. Five of the game's maps are exactly the same. Who said you got that power, bro? Poor optimization, tons of crashes, yeah. and endless bugs. On top of all of that, Reforged is a mandatory update for everyone with the original Oh game. yeah, they can the, the old game. No intention of upgrading. Well, and I think they killed all the maps as well, right? The custom game modes. 30 gigabytes of install size anyway. All of this amounts to one of the worst launches of a game in history. Within a few days of release, it ends up at 0 0.5 out of 10. That's Metacritic. crazy, bro. At the time, Deserved. the lowest Metacritic score in history. Nice. Before being dethroned by Diablo Immortal. <laughs> so naturally... <laughs> hordes of people pile in to request refunds. But wait. You've booted up the game even just once. No refund. Sorry, you're not allowed. I mean, it's not There's Steam, so... There's so much outcry about the game, however, that Blizzard eventually caves and starts actually granting Damn. refunds. The game is so bad that the entire classic games division of Blizzard is completely canned. You're Oof. fired! Get out of here! It I mean, if they made that abomination, they deserve that shit, bro. They, they killed my boy. So causes an upcoming Diablo 2 remake to be pushed back more than a year. Now, okay. How did they make that remake good and they made Reforged? What the hell? How does that work? So it's 2021 and Blizzard's reputation is currently abhorrent. Damn. But luckily, Social crit Overwatch free down, 2 huh? is just around the corner. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Overwatch 2. Oh, sec. oh god. Turns out that over the last two years, the California Civil Rights Department had been investigating Activision Blizzard oh, due shit. to multiple reports of sexual harassment from staff. Oh. And by July 2021, they I they had enough but I don't have to file suit. The lawsuit much. states that sexual harassment, unwanted advances, with no repercussion, are common within Blizzard, both before common. and after the merge. This includes the mention of an executive suite at before 2013's BlizzCon. It's not a nice place. In fact, some employees literally dub it the Cosby Suite. Ooh, then there's the oh, alleged damn. underpaying of women and complaints to both HR and the president repeatedly being ignored. But there was something else. The employee's breast milk. Huh? It keeps being stolen. In the law- Oh my god, I've been missing my breast milk as well. Suit, more than one employee alleges breast milk theft. It was very clearly breast milk in back- Baggies with a baby's face on it, a former producer claims. One day, I went to retrieve- First off, why the hell is there breast milk there? Why? What, what are they doing? Is there babies there? Are you feeding babies at work? Maybe, I don't know. My but if not, at explain. The the day, and it was gone. Who got the, the baby? Fallout is milk. monumental and makes headlines industry-wide. <laughs> Few people are spared. Current Diablo 4 lead. Go. His character's name in Overwatch. Oh, this is the gone. dude. Yeah, they renamed the character because of his ass. Because he was fucking people Level up. Level designer on World of Warcraft. Without consent. Gone. Head of Damn. HR. Definitely gone. Yeah. Warcraft League gone. Damn. Jay Allen gone. Their Damn. chief legal gone. Yo, the first off. Warcraft League gone. Jay Allen gone. Okay. Their chief legal I don't know anything about this woman. She's got crazy eyes though. Like, I would not trust her with anything. Straight up. D that nah, hey. hell nah. The Those Wall eyes. Journal also alleges that Kotick knew about the whole thing, ignored it, and in some cases even jumped in himself. He did not. <laughs> he does look like a guy that would do that. most of the allegations. I did not. But eventually apologizes for a one-time instance where he left a voicemail threatening oh. to have his assistant killed. That's all fine then. Hey, Water yo. under the bridge. Sponsors like T-Mobile, Coca-Cola, Kellogg, IBM and Pringles also all Pringles. jump ship from the Oof. Overwatch Esports League. And Activision Blizzard they were sponsored by Coca-Cola. is hit with a class action lawsuit on behalf of its shareholders. Oof. What? Overall, 
the situation's not looking great. Activision Blizzard denies most of the claims. We didn't and do in it. June 2022, they investigate themselves and find no wrongdoing. So they're kind of like the police. Investigate yourself, find yourself that you didn't do shit. Fair enough. Makes sense. Overwatch 2, baby. The immediate reaction <laughs> uh. to Overwatch 2's announcement was one of confusion. Overwatch 1 was a monetized game with a thriving player base and regular updates. Yeah, why did they have to make an Overwatch 2 that is basically Overwatch 1 but less and maybe sometimes a little bit more? I don't know. I don't know what the 2 stands for besides, oh, we made it free and... Kind of game that doesn't need a sequel. So this was a strange move. Overwatch 2's development would also mean the end of support for Overwatch 1 in 2020. Bro, it's with the same game. No new Overwatch Straight content up. for multiple years, essentially killing the game. Damn. What? But with Overwatch 2, Blizzard reassures us it was all worth it. Just look at all this new stuff. 5v5 instead of 6v6. Shiny. I still hate that. I prefer 5v5. Oh. 6v6. Graphics, balancing changes, map reworks, six new maps, three new heroes, more than 30 new skins, a new game mode, wow. a battle pass and cosmetics shop. Yeah, and most bro, they made the skin shit worse. You used to get like these chests that you open, you get like, I used to have so many skins from one. Importantly, I haven't gotten shit from two. PvE campaign. People had been longing for a story in the Overwatch universe. Yeah, hell no. Nah. I was not one happening. of these people. And it was ambitious. Blizzard shows off a full campaign, along with hero missions, talents, and massive skill trees unique to each hero. God damn! Hundreds of missions okay, they branched launch, quite a lot. Announce. A truly replayable campaign. And don't worry. I'll be honest with you. People said this, and I, in my mind, I can never imagine Overwatch single-player story. Like the the combat in Overwatch is made for PvP. How would that shit work? Well, you play Mercy, you got to the gun, be like pew 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 pew. Like, what the hell? Come on, With bro. Overwatch 2, Blizzard tells us they were redefining what a sequel really means. Oh, God. Overwatch 1 players get all the new maps, updates, and heroes that release in Overwatch 2. And both player bases can cross-play together. Yeah, about that. The purchase of Overwatch 2 essentially only granting the PvE mode. Okay, sold. Players are on board. 10th of March, 2022. And Blizzard has anyone that was on board with that, you're kind of crazy, brother. No, we said hundreds of missions at launch, <laughs> but well, How about then? it's taking a while, so we're just going to release the game now without it and oh. add it later. So then in June, so what are you releasing? You're releasing Overwatch 1, but 2. They come out again. The game's now free to play and launching in October. But anyway, on the 4th of October, 2022, it goes live. Oh my god. There are some issues. Uh, Events are bad, tons of balancing issues. Mm. The looking for group feature is now just completely gone. But mainly, there's the new cosmetic system. In Overwatch 1, earning cosmetics It was so simple. good. Just play the game, level yes. up, and earn loot boxes that yes. you skins. You could pay for them, but that was completely optional. Yeah. In Overwatch 2, things are different. Blizzard has now slapped on a seasonal battle pass system where the bulk of cosmetics would now be unlocked. There's also a rotating store, and the prices there aren't great. Ooh. You can unlock skins for free through the what the challenge hell? system, but that gun for 40 bucks? It takes about eight months to get one. Damn. A simple character recolor takes almost four weeks. All of this Damn. means that it will take you around 327 years to get all the stuff you could get relatively quickly for free in Overwatch 1. <gasps> yeah, hell no. Nah. Better get playing. Also, hell there's now nah. a new hero every other season, and they'd be locked behind the later levels of the season pass. Your options are... I think they removed this now. Spend every minute of your life grinding for them. Or pay up. Give me money. In Overwatch 1, they were unlocked straight away. Well, I mean, Overwatch 1 was a paid game, so it makes sense, but like, they didn't need to make this shit so awful. Like, they made it awful. Don't take kindly to these changes. But then in May 2023, Blizzard comes out again. So, that PvP Yo, hero campaign cracked, that we've been advertising and was pretty much the sole reason we yeah. made the sequel in the first place, mm -hmm. pretty about much it? completely scrapped. No more talent trees or hero missions. Instead, we're just gonna pepper some PvE missions around every few seasons. What? What the f 
this was essentially the entire selling point. For yeah, exactly. Some of the remaining like story. Overwatch Two is Overwatch One. Straight out is the same goddamn game. Story content is still planned with its first release on August 10th, but when it finally releases, it's only three missions. Blizzard is saying Were the they game good won't at be least? getting any uh, more story missions these. until at least 2024. They also add Overwatch Two to Steam, and it instantly becomes the worst reviewed <laughs> game of all time. There. Damn. Of all time? The year is now 2023. I just Blizzard's don't know what happened with Diablo 4. I don't worse. care them so when about Diablo, Diablo 4 wow. release approaches, people are cautious. But on the 5th of June, the game launches. And, and it's surprisingly good. Oh, there are some issues here and there, but it's reviews good. are mostly positive. And, and over 10 million people log in and play, making Diablo 4 Blizzard's fastest selling game of all time. I know the biggest hype with Diablo 4 was that the visuals were very reminiscent of Diablo 2. Because that Diablo 2 was uh, 3 was very cartoony. People did not like that the at all. First time in the one that years, horror feeling. Things are actually looking up. And this game was live service, meaning it would receive free seasons of content for the foreseeable future. Nice. The first of which was launching in July. Malignant. A month later, and in July, season one of the game drops. It is disastrous. And Reddit goes oh. into a complete meltdown. But it's free content, isn't it? Everything gets a big nerf, oh, including shit. the Metacritic score. The Sorcerer class, which was- Bro, people need to stop nerfing PvE games, okay? Y'all need to chill with that shit. It's broken, nobody cares, that's exactly the point. Hard. Then there's the enemies being overpowered, much less XP, a bunch of reskinned dungeons and enemies, barely any new content, <laughs> and zero quality of life changes. Everything Damn. here is wrong. <laughs> One streamer on Twitch tries to explain why the season isn't that bad. Here's how that goes. This explosion is at... I actually just lost my hardcore character while trying to explain this to you. I changed my mind. I hate this season. And it seems... <laughs> Dale. Blizzard also has a bit oh, of yeah, the snows on him though. Battle pass, battle pass, oh, battle, battle pass, battle pass, battle pass, battle pass. Speaking of which, it gives paid players 666 platinum. The cheapest item in the store is 800. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Also, back when Blizzard was designing the menus for the game, they decided to place the activate premium battle pass button right next to the button you're constantly pressing to see your season progression. Ooh. That's kind of small. There's also no confirmation button. So if you Wait, want to check what? the progression and accidentally misclick, congratulations, you've just purchased it. What the? That cannot be legal. No way in hell is that legal. There are multiple Come other on, confirmation bro. buttons for other menu options in the game. The so fuck, that doesn't sound legal. Just you your shit. Somehow, Blizzard is now worse. Man, I haven't watched... Than I don't remember what this channel was called, but I used to watch this when I was like a while ago. I don't remember. Bethesda. Angry it's something. Slowly become something. To people. With overreach from Activision, more fiscal concern, and most of the original talent having left the company, yeah. among other things. Breast Maybe look. Blizzard wasn't the company it once was. And after a back to office mandate in 2023, even more talent is leaving. Damn. So much talent that Blizzard is now actually creating crisis maps for what content they can and can't get done. But with- Bro, that's pathetic. What the fuck is supposed to be a professional big-ass company? Come on, man. Get your shit together. The acquisition from Microsoft, who's currently focusing on making good exclusives to slap on their Game Pass. Some mm. fans are hopeful for change. But for now, the outlook on Blizzard Entertainment remains bleak. Yeah. Fuck you, Blizzard, you fucked up my Warcraft. And don't forget about Assos. the epic, accurate, action-packed War Thunder free Okay, buddy. Okay. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Have you played... Have you enjoyed any of these more recent games that they've released? Diablo 4, 3, some shit, Overwatch? Uh, let me know in the comments, okay? Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed this.